So when we use uh, JSON, one of the main reasons that people are switching over some XML over to JSON is that, um, first of all, it's lightweight. So it's easier to work with, there's less data to transfer over, and when we're doing AJAX calls, this is important uh, in regards to load times and uh, loading data quickly and efficiently. So that's one of those important things when you are looking at a uh, source for pulling through your data, transmitting your data, uh, look at uh, the capabilities of how you're gonna be using that data and uh, more than likely JSON will probably come out on top when you do the, uh, an assessment of that. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about JSON is that it's actually going to be language independent. So it actually doesn't matter what coding language I'm using to pull this JSON information, I can parse this information through. So if I'm using server uh, to do uh, a call over to this URL, I can parse through this data in a number of different languages and I can pull that out within that same type of structure. Uh, so that's another really good thing because it is language independent. Uh, also, uh, as opposed to XML, it's actually a lot more readable. So when I look at uh, the way the data is presented, this is actually in a readable format, and especially when I'm doing a formatter and validator. So um, when I click this, I'm gonna actually format and validate that uh, URL. So I noticed that um, some of that header information isn't available in here within the source code. Uh, so it's probably gonna throw an error because it's not indicating what type of uh, data it is. But either way, we can it's still formatted properly as JSON data. So we see that here, we, we don't have that encoding information into it because this is just a regular standard uh, JSON dump of information. Um, but we are able to easily see the way that the data gets laid out. So again, it gets represented in a format that's readable, and um, whether it's uh, text-based or a human is coming in to read it, uh, it's it's very straightforward, to uh, easy to understand, and we also have this ability to close and open up these uh, menus in order to make it even more readable. So again, with um, the difference between XML, which essentially was the way to transmit data uh, previously, prior to JSON coming on, on board and becoming uh, more widespread, uh, XML actually requires quite a bit more uh, coding and it's XML, if you're not familiar with XML, it's more in an HTML type format where we've got opening and closing uh, tags uh, so we've got all of the data contained within these opening and closing tags. So JSON really does simplify that as opposed to what you would have to write within, H, uh, with, within XML. So the first thing that we want to look at is we want to actually set up some of this JSON data and use it within our JavaScript. So actually pull it out onto our web page and access some of this data. So the way to do that is to treat this as an object within JavaScript. So there are a number of different ways and we're gonna start out with a very simplified way of pulling in uh, this data as an object within JavaScript and then accessing that object information. So going into my editor, I've got an index page here and this is a very straightforward HTML5 uh, structure. Uh, so I've got my um, Headering information up here. I'm linking over to style sheet, style CSS, and I've got uh, some simple body information here. Uh, so all I've got is a couple divs here. So one where I'm going to actually output that content. So this gives me a place where I can uh, put, uh, get the JavaScript connection and uh, connect it into the DOM, output content into this output area. Uh, so I'm going to maybe just put nothing yet and then have that update with the JavaScript. And then lastly here, of course, I've got my script file uh, accessed down here, so it's connecting to the script.js file. So I can close off a lot of this, uh, this HTML and uh, make the screen more for the JavaScript because this is where we're gonna be focused on. So the HTML was just uh, where we're outputting the content and where we're gonna be able to see it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up a variable. 
So, so maybe I'll just call it J content, and I'm going to set it up as I would any variable within JavaScript. And uh, this is how you actually set it up as an object within JavaScript. And the first thing that I wanted to do, uh, so similar to what we're looking at over here, so maybe I'm going to do the same type of format where I've got first name and last name, and then I'll copy the rest of that in as we go along. So I'm just going to have these two pieces of uh, data here. And um, now when I go out to the web page, I see nothing, we shouldn't have anything being displayed yet. And I should get rid of this green part as well. Not sure where that's coming from. So obviously I have got something there within my output there. Uh, so font size. Uh, this is just with brackets. Uh, you can open up and uh, inline edit the text. So I'm going to change, update that background color. Uh, so maybe make it this color. And maybe it is something within container. So that's where our teal color was coming from. So now I can go out here, refresh it, and So I just had to update um, brand new style sheet. For some reason, it seemed to be caching it. Uh, so this is our current output. We don't have anything being output yet. And in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to get this data out of our JavaScript, our JSON formatted data. And I'm going to show the first name and last name in that output area within my HTML. So that's coming up in the next lesson.